Okay, welcome back to Parapod. Uh, this is a quick video to show the newest design we call Paratent. Okay, this is the 3D model. As you can see, uh, basically it's almost the same as the backyard uh, Parapod 4 G17. Uh, now we call it not G, we call that uh, V, V for vertical growing. Okay. Um, because that one um, has a second floor, you know, supported for a uh, grow bed. And uh, so uh, we, we have to use a stronger material, right? Stronger post, uh, stronger everything. But uh, with Paratent, we eliminate the second floor. Uh, because of that, it is really a tent-like structure, which is a frame covered with two layer of fabric. Uh, for DIY, you could use the cheapest uh, plastic uh, film to build, at least for your own uh, DIY skin. Right? As you can see, suggest for DIY, you use um, uh, four long uh, columns, uh, four metal posts. Okay? Uh, the metal post uh, buried a uh, half meter down in the ground. Uh, the reason uh, we show that um, there's a central platform, okay? Underneath the platform is um, a space. Uh, uh, the height is one meter, and then the uh, four edges are uh, two meters, you know, just two by two by one uh, um, space. Uh, that's for the geothermal um, uh, zone um, uh, and then you can uh, basically dig a uh, uh, half meter down and then uh, place uh, a pound liner uh, and then on top of the pound liner you can fill with water and uh, gravel and this is similar to the one I have in the backyard but it's a much much smaller uh, instead of the whole area and then we uh, suggest only need the central area you know the uh, the two by two by two meter area to be the geothermal uh, mass and then uh, we suggest to bury two uh, soil containers uh, inside the area um, underneath the platform um, and uh, so this way, so uh, reservoir uh, are lower, right? Two reservoirs are lower than the bottom of the double layer cavity, right? So, uh, so the liquid can flow uh, back to the tank, central tank, through the bubble generator, okay? So as you can see, uh, the liquid is collected through the pipes, you know, uh, leading to the bottom of the this area uh, and then the liquid flow okay first to the bubble generator and then back to the central tank um, that's what it is okay so um, yeah very simple as you can see you got steps uh, leading to the platform if you use it for temporary labeling uh, you can you know uh, place at least three beds you know on the side okay and uh, then the platform you use it for central uh, for common area as long as the post is strong uh, you can do uh, like a hammock right a hanging bed right uh, do something else but anyway then you know uh, um, this just give you an idea right what you can do is uh, something like this yeah you know? and also you can use it to house uh, aquaponic uh, operation uh, you have four lung size to um, to place the uh, you know for example fish tanks right and then uh, you can build a shelf and then place the uh, grow bed on top of the shelf and you can utilize the even uh, the post right we can we see here we have um, you know central post right and also side post but anyways you can easily build a shelf on top of the uh, fish tank um, so you can easily convert this into a real greenhouse even though it's called <laughs> paratent so anyway so um, 
this way, uh, we hope that you can easily uh, build it yourself uh, by giving you, giving you this design. Um, you know, and uh, as you can see, the door, uh, the entrance is uh, basically uh, you know the same thing, same uh, same film or fabric, uh, but we use zippers. Uh, you know, straight. Uh, down and up zippers to simply hold the door there um, as you uh, unzip it you know uh, open the door so you simply roll up the film and then enter right uh, the same thing for the in inner layer uh, so this way uh, we made it uh, easy uh, so that the bubbles actually can uh, f can be filled to the, you know in this area you know basically the whole area can be just like other area right just um, when you need to enter or, or, or exit and then you can um, you know uh, um, you know open up the zipper and roll up the you know thing or just just go through the bubble right basically even you have bubbles there is no problem you know the, no, the bubbles are, are light um, you know so you can go through the bubble and then won't affect the operation okay so um that's it uh i think it's clear um uh, oh another thing is the for the top portion basically the pyramid portion uh, as you can see we made it really simple you know even simpler there's no uh, divider between the sections uh, we simply open up the entire area you know we can we call it the pyramid plenum okay uh, so this is the area that the bubble uh, fill and and then uh, redistribute it to other sections uh, uh, so in this design we we aim for the the entrance facing east okay so the left side that's facing south the right hand side facing north and the other side facing west so as you can see the bubbles uh yeah we will produce here and here you know two screens and uh, this is the fan this the fan the, uh, for this one is here so basically these two have to work in unison okay if you turn it on it has to be turned on um, at the same time so the bubbles pro you know producing here here and fill this area and then then expand okay uh, understand this is the when you blow the bubbles you the, there basically there's uh, no air you know uh, because the air uh, tra is transferred into the bubbles right so it's the expansion of foam that cause everything expand okay um, and then expand continue expand until you you know the bubbles fill this area right fill this area so from this side and then um as the as you continue then the lower pressure much lower pressure you created here here right in this region and then you got to start to see some flow okay S a very slow flow actually um, because simply um you know the idea is to borrow air from here and then move transfer the air into bubbles right and then until you replace the whole area with bubbles you know with no air you know you can use because all the air has been transferred into bubbles right? okay so that's the idea so for that reason uh it's very hard uh, if you haven't worked with foam uh in this structure it's very hard to understand what is going on until you build the tent you know like this yourself right then you understand the whole thing right but anyway so that's uh that's why i need to explain um you know that's why it's not obvious because it will behave quite different right okay than air and then liquid okay so um yeah just to let you know and um uh also note that um we have you know basically four bags you know four we call it panels right x panels uh, but uh, they are really 
bags hanging, you know, from outside, and um, uh, the central uh, pyramid plenum has a mechanism, so we tie on to the four um, pipes, you know, horizontal pipes on the four side, and then the this layer, the inner layer, where the outer layer simply cover from outside, right? And then the inner layers, uh, we we actually made it uh, so that uh, it's hanging from the top here. You know, we can use a bun bungee cord or something with some kind of elastic, uh, you know, property, and then just uh, you know hanging from there, and then just tie the edges to the horizontal um, pipe, and then the film uh, overlap from top right to the so that uh, nothing can fall through, right? So it, and, and the liquid fall just like this, right? Um, so without any problem. Uh, this area, uh, you know, we can call it knee wall, and we simply use a uh, one layer, uh, you know, fabric or film to cover it. Um, uh, you can, when you build, you can use, um, you know, bales of straw, okay? You can use, um, straw bale, the square one, you know, to line up and to uh, insulate the bottom, you know, the, all the white area, you know, the knee wall, and or you can use other mechanisms, you know. For our commercial product, we're going to provide the proper, uh, uh, you know, material you know, with insulation, okay. But uh, uh, for DIY, you can use whatever works, right. Uh, as long as this area is, is insulated, and then you're not going to have uh, the problem of air entering in from here or the you know frozen uh, liquid right uh, on top of the uh, uh, surface. Okay, um, so um, yeah, that's it. Um, so you can see it is a much simpler design than my backyard version. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully um, any handyman can build. And um, and showcase uh, you know your skill and uh, yeah if you want us to uh, you know even to uh, display your design on our website uh, we will we'll happily do that okay so that's it um, I think uh, I've covered most of it um, so uh, make sure you ask questions. Uh, you know, if you don't understand anything, um, so um, yeah, hopefully you can do it yourself, okay?